Unleash any new program to the masses and there's bound to be some growing pains. Welcome to Kelowna's shared e-scooter rollout of 2021. I can't sit here and say that this has rolled out perfectly. Uh, it's, it's messy, but this is what happens when you, um, you know, you introduce uh, what we call disruptive uh, mobility or disruptive technology mm -hmm. into a community. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit messy at the start. Councillor Brad Sieben said one of four original companies pointed fatal flaws in the program before it rolled out. Shared e-scooters were introduced when the province allowed the motorized devices anywhere bikes are permitted. Council authorized their use April 19th. That evening, Lyme had 500 e-scooters deployed around the city. Within days, a flood of complaints to media, councillors, and posted on social media. Scooters were being abandoned in the middle of sidewalks. People were riding on sidewalks, riding with two or three to a scooter, and riding without a helmet. But it was KGH Chief of Orthopedic Surgery, Dr. Stephen Crywallock, who made city council and e-scooter companies sit up and take notice. During an exclusive interview with Castanet News, Crywallock called e-scooters fracture machines. He said in one weekend, and seven people came to hospital with e-scooter injuries. This resulted in several changes, including the number of scooters available at any time and where they would be stationed, and holding companies and riders accountable for misconduct. New rules in place for 2022 include attached shared helmets to every scooter and limiting the number of operators to two. The number of complaints lessened through the summer, while surveys showed the e-scooters were incredibly popular with an average of about 1,500 trips taken each day. For Castanet's Year in Review, I'm Wayne Moore.